Ninja Turtles are one of the many reasons I started martial arts nearly 22 years ago, which makes me feel old. But I know that is not just me, that's me and many other martial artists share that same origin. We wanted to learn all the different kinds of weapons each turtle would use and do all the cool flips and kicks that we would see them use in the movies and cartoons. All with that amazing theme song running in our heads, one by the code of the martial arts. And yes, that is the best theme song of all the Ninja Turtles. I will die on that hill. And so this month, on top of Wolverine and the Avatar, I'll be introducing the Ninja Turtles as part of the series where we break down each of their fighting styles, going through each of the four turtles, Splinter, Casey Jones, and maybe even Shredder if you guys blow this series up. And it will include a tutorial teaching you how to use the turtles' weapons or one of the character's signature moves. But just like last time, let's play a game. If the last number in your like is a one or a two, you are Leo. If the last like is a three or a four, you are Donnie. If the last like is a five or a six, you are Raphael. If the last number is a seven or eight, you're Mikey. And if the last number is nine or zero, you're Master Splinter. So let me know in the comments which one you got. What's up guys, this is Own Ninja wearing Avid as a superhero and welcome to the Modern Ninja. And like I said before, ever since 1984, kids have been wanting to become their favorite mutant turtle from New York. So in this series, we're gonna go over all four turtles and specifically in this episode, we're going over the leader, Leo breaking down his fighting style, what weapons he uses, and giving you a tutorial based on the turtle himself. Now, before we get into his fighting style and the tutorial, we have to break down who Leonardo actually is. Leo is the most disciplined and skilled of all of the turtles, specializing in his twin katanas as he keeps them strapped to his shell. Now, all of the turtles are going to have a base training of ninjutsu and gymnastics, both of which being quite obvious as soon as you take any look at the show. Honestly, every media showcases those two things perfectly. With the gymnastics emphasizing their flips and parkour uses, with the flipping and jumping all over the sewers and around the battlefield, literally jumping on top of bad guys and vaulting over them just like any gymnast would doing their events. And thanks to their mutation and their training, they're able to do this at Olympic level gymnast athletes, actually past Olympic level athletes. And I mean, they're mutant ninja turtles. It's literally in the name. So it's only, you know, obvious that we would be taking combat and some skills from ninjutsu, not only learning combat, but also uh, dipping into espionage and other guerrilla warfare techniques that the ninja would uh, historically use. Not being noticed, using ninja stars and shuriken and all other kinds of techniques that we see the turtles use all the time. They are literally the base for every turtle, but I know that's not why anyone loves Leo. His flipping skills is not the main draw. That's gotta be his swords. But with Leo being the leader of the turtles, that has helped him to become the most level-headed and mature of the turtles. So acting as the moral compass of the group, which makes it perfect that Splinter gave him the most lethal weapon out of all of the weapons, out of all of the turtles' weapons. In fact, all four turtles have weapons that uniquely complement them and their personality. But don't worry, I'll get into all of the rest of them later on in the series. But for right now, Leo is gonna be rocking the double katanas and it's truly just a statement I can get behind. Katanas are without a doubt one of the most dangerous weapons in history, even being used after the invention of gunpowder quite successfully. People were literally able to bring katanas to gunfights and win, which is wild. And so we're going to see a lot of kendo influences in Leo's fighting style. For those that don't know, kendo is a very old Japanese martial art that 
almost entirely focuses on using the katana sword. Literally dating back for thousands of years, and anything that can stand the test of time like that is a force to be reckoned with. Now, using twin katanas is definitely not easy, considering a katana is traditionally a two-handed weapon that makes it kind of challenging. And I, I mean, I should know, I've literally taught double katana tutorials here on the channel if you scroll back far enough. But uh, it's certainly not impossible, although difficult, but not impossible. And considering that it's practiced all around the world very widely as far as uh, the single katana and dual wielding weapons, they're both taught all around the world, it's gonna be relatively easy for you to find a school that is able to teach you some kind of sword work or traditional sword work. I mean, kendo itself is still practiced all around the world quite widely, quite, quite widely, I can't talk today, still being part of a worldwide competition circuit to this day. So if you really want to just be like the leader of the turtles themselves, you totally can by joining a kendo class near you. And with a little bit of XMA and creativity, you can look just like Leo, as long as you don't forget, you know, the gymnastics and jiu-jitsu leaders as well. You might also have to add in some ooze as well, but since, you know, the training's gonna take years and the ooze you might never find, I'm gonna give you something today that you could work on in your backyard right now. So let's go outside and learn a katana tutorial. So for our Leonardo, which I guess I'm wearing the wrong color for Leo, but it's fine. We're not gonna talk about that right now. We're gonna do a sword combination for Leo. Now, I don't know if I've mentioned it in the video, but this is a tricking sword. This sword is designed for me to be able to use it and not hurt myself, use it in practice, use it in performance, and not actually, you know, myself so uh if you're looking to get one don't worry i got you i have a discount code uh ninja 10 for century martial arts you can get a sword you can get nunchucks bow staff literally every single ninja turtle weapon um they have on their site that you can get for 10 percent off so definitely check that out if you are so interested however let's get into our sword combination which will look like this <laughs> Now, for this sword combination, we're gonna wanna make sure that we're holding our sword correctly, top of the hand on the top of the uh, handle, close to the, to the uh, suba, nope, close to the guard, there we go, close to the guard, and then the bottom of the hand at the bottom, not on the bottom, but towards the bottom of your sword. Now that you have your sword, you're gonna step out into what we call a front stance in the direction you're cutting. Starting off, we're cutting to our left, so we're gonna step out to our left, bending our left knee, keeping our right leg straight, and cutting at our high angle. We're gonna switch our stance and our cut to switch to the right side and our low angle. So one more time, holding it just like so, following the blade high angle, following the blade low angle. From here, we're going to cut inward and stab straight into our target. When you do this, you're gonna wanna avoid swinging wide because it's very common that people wanna swing wide into that stab. That's not how you stab things. You have to aim first, then push, and just like you may see, we are pushing with our knee as well. So we have high angle left, low angle right, aim and stab in to the left side. From here is our trick. We're gonna do what's called a box cutter. I've covered this many times on the channel, and so if you want a more in-depth version, go to one of the uh, sword tutorials on the channel. I have literally tons of them. But to break it down, the blade is going to spin outward as the handle spins in for a nice helicopter effect. Just like that. Just swinging out, handle in, bang. And our catch is going to be with our left hand in a reverse grip, meaning the blade is by the pinky as opposed to by the thumb or by the, the index finger. Reverse grip. So one more time, we have high left, low right, middle left, swinging out for our box cutter into our reverse grip catch. As we catch, we wanna make this seamless, but I'm gonna break it down first. We step one foot, two feet, grab our sword and finish. So from the beginning we have one, two, aim, three, 
box cutter reverse grip catch. Step one, step two, grab again and cut through. <clears throat> and as we build it together from our box cutter, we want that catch to go into our steps seamlessly, just like that. So all together, one more time, we have a combination that looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Just like that. Like I said, make sure to use a tricking sword because cutting yourself with a real sword would be pretty dumb, so uh, don't do it. <laughs> but either way, if you wanna get them or not, the links will be down in the comments or in the description below, but let's get back inside. Now, again, don't forget to check out the links below. It's very important that you don't use an actually sharp katana when you're learning how to use them. I very much strongly either use a wooden boken or like the tricking katana that I use in the show, in the video. You can use any of those and they're all sold in the links down below. So make sure to get a sword that you can use safely. It's very, very important. Plus it's a way to help out the channel while also getting 10% off <laughs> your purchase. So it's really just a win-win win for everyone around. But either way, stay safe. And until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. Be the modern ninja, but left off. Just know I'm dangerous. Perfect. I'm on that Bruce Lee, flow like water, state of mind Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pin Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim I hit flashing chains while your boy been in the gym Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to